This is a video on how to be successful in the world of Plessy's virtual learning. You're going to want to start by going to google.com. You're going to see the sign in button and click that. You're going to want to sign in using your first and last name at plessyschool.org. Enter your password. Hit next. Now you'll know that you're in your account by seeing your initial at the top. And when you click it, it will show you that your account is right here. In order to get to classroom, you're gonna click this square with nine squares inside of it and click classroom. This is going to show you all the classrooms that you have been added to. You will find a classroom for your cohort or your teacher's homeroom and your special. You can open up your cohort classroom and see all of your assignments listed on the left, your meet link for live classes, which you enter during your live class time for any academic core class listed right here, and your stream where teachers can post, tell you what time their first class is, show you videos, and anything that's posted in classwork will go right to the stream. You find your assignments in the classwork section. You will find all of the assignments that are posted under each core subject, science, social studies, ELA, and math. Anything that's archived is work that has been done previous to the current week. If you need to find something in here, you will need to scroll through. All assignments are listed by their subject, the date, and what the assignment is. There's also lesson recordings from live classes updated. If you do not attend your live class for the day, this is where you are able to find it and watch the live class recording. You can view your work by clicking the view your work button. This will show you all assignments since that you have been enrolled in the classroom that have been assigned to you. If you go back to the stream, once you're back on the stream, you can find your Meet link in order to enter live classes. If you click your Meet link, it will open up another tab to Google Meet. If you get this pop-up message that you can't create a meeting yourself, that means that you are entering the classroom at the incorrect time and you'll need to check your schedule. The teachers are the only ones that are able to begin meets. When navigating and finding assignments, you're going to want to go to the classwork tab. The easiest way to find assignments is to click view your work. This way you can see all of the assignments in the, in the order of most recently posted to oldest at the bottom. Um, anything that says assigned is something that was recently assigned. Anything that says missing is an exit ticket or um, an assignment that you have missed the due date for. We are going to look at this social studies open response review. Some documents will have a attachment and it will have your student's name and then the assignment name. When you click it, it will open to a new tab. This is now your individual assignment page where you have the ability to answer questions and upload information that you need to prior to turning in. In this assignment, students are asked to read and then use sources to answer the questions. We're going to scroll to the bottom and look at answering the question. Here's where you would have the option to type in what your response would be, and then click Turn In. Once you click Turn In, you have finished editing and sent it to the teacher. Alternatively, you can share this with the teacher. By sharing this with the teacher, it gives the teacher the opportunity to um, communicate with the student around what their answer is prior to turning in the finished and completed assignment. If you have any questions about assignments, you're going to want to reach out to the teacher that teaches that core subject. 
either it be social studies, ELA, science, or math. Um, if you have questions regarding how to upload assignments or how to turn in assignments, you can call Ms. Kelsey. All students have a separate classroom for their specials class. When you're on your classroom board, you will either see dance, music, theater, visual arts, or some students might see strings listed for their specials class. The specials classroom operates the same way that the cohort classroom does. Anytime you see specials on your schedule, you will join the meet link here. Parents, guardians, and students will be able to view the most up-to-date current grades for their students through our Jump Rope Parent Portal. You find this portal by going to jumpro.pe backslash home, where you will log in using your student's school email address, as well as the password that has been provided via email. Students will log in using their Google account and not using the password that has been provided. These are some general questions that parents, guardians, and students may have throughout their time in virtual learning. Please reach out to the appropriate contact. If you're not sure who to reach out to, please reach out to your homeroom teacher who will direct you to the correct person. Thank you.